Interested in the treasure of the Sierra matter? Well, get ready for a ride because there's a bunch of cool, surprising, and sad stuff to learn. Made in 1947, this old movie tells the story of three guys searching for gold in Mexico's tough land. Directed by John Huston, it talks about greed, betrayal, and how people can be kind of messed up. But did you know that while making it, the actors and crew dealt with lots of problems like bad weather and fights on set? As you watch, you'll dive into a world where people get rich and poor quick and trusting others isn't easy. But there's more to the story than what you see on screen. There are lots of interesting facts and stories that make this movie special. From the actors' performances to the drama behind the scenes, there's plenty to explore. So sit tight, relax, and get ready for a good time. Now, what's your favorite memory or experience with this movie? Share your stories below. Let's keep talking. John Huston's The Treasure of the Sierra Matter is often praised as one of Hollywood's best adventure films. It tells the story of three Americans searching for gold in Mexico. Humphrey Bogart delivers a standout performance as the lead character. Despite his great acting, he surprisingly didn't receive an Oscar nomination. Walter Huston, however, won an Oscar for his memorable supporting role. Tim Holt, playing the third member of the group, gives a solid performance, though not as attention-grabbing as the others. The film won Oscars for John Huston's screenplay and direction. While the direction award is deserved, the movie's faithfulness to the novel suggests that credit may also be due to B. Traven, the novel's author. Regardless, it remains a captivating story. The cinematography, mostly shot on location, and Max Steiner's score enhance the overall quality of the film. It's definitely a good movie, although it might not live up to all the praise it receives. Despite some anticipation about the ending, the story didn't leave as strong an impression as expected, given its esteemed reputation. Nevertheless, it's worth watching, and I plan to see it again in the future. In a broader context, the film stands out as a solid story with interesting characters. The narrative keeps viewers engaged with characters whose loyalties shift unexpectedly. While Hamlet won the Best Picture Award in 1948, one could argue that The Treasure of the Sierra Matter was the standout film of the year. B. Traven initially disagreed with John Huston's choice to cast Walter Huston as Howard, the grizzled prospector in the film. Traven originally envisioned Lewis Stone for the role, but later understood Huston's decision. The movie is referenced heavily in the ad on Dead Money from the 2010 video game Fallout New Vegas. The only time the three Holtz appeared together was in 1946 in a CBS radio program called All-Star Theater. The Holtz played father, son, and daughter in the show, which featured Western music by Foy Willing and the writers of The Purple Sage with a dramatic sketch. The treasure of the Sierra Matter, set in 1925, revolves around three men who find $35,000 worth of gold in the Mexican wilderness. Adjusted for inflation, this sum would be approximately $600,000 in 2023. In that era, $35,000 equated to around 75,000 pesos, a substantial fortune given that the average annual income was about 1 pesos. If left untouched, they could sustain themselves for about 40 years, considering a 3% yearly rise in living costs. Alternatively, with wise investments, they could potentially live indefinitely off the interest matching inflation. During the filming, director John Huston's behavior towards his wife Evelyn Keyes was reportedly disrespectful and belittling. Huston, interested in adopting a young orphan named Pablo he met on set, kept this plan from Keyes until they returned from Mexico, where she was shocked to find them together at the airport. Huston's personal life was marked by a string of marriages, with his fifth wife, Celeste Shane, being the exception. He often spoke negatively of her, even going as far as to refer to her as a crocodile in his autobiography. Despite this, his daughter Angelica Houston had positive sentiments towards Celeste, and even after their divorce, Houston allowed his adopted daughter Allegra to live with Celeste and her son. The Treasure of the Sierra Mater is a 1947 movie that garnered acclaim and recognition, including a nomination for Best Picture at the Oscars. The film features Humphrey Bogart, John Huston, and Spencer Tracy, who were heavy smokers and drinkers during production. Bogart, in particular, was known for his consumption of two packs of Chesterfield cigarettes daily. Interestingly, Oliver Stone contemplated a remake of the film, considering the substitution of drugs for gold as the central theme. However, this idea never materialized into a new adaptation of the classic movie. Despite its age, the treasure of the Sierra Mata remains a timeless cinematic gem. 
Directed by John Huston, the movie adaptation of the famous book was a huge success, getting praised all over the world. Houston was really careful with all the small details and did an amazing job directing the movie, making it really exciting to watch with its story about greed, betrayal, and doing the wrong thing. Houston didn't just direct the movie, he also wrote a lot of the dialogue, which was a big deal, just like he did with the Maltese Falcon before. He really understood the book well, so he could turn it into a great movie smoothly. Even though he died just nine days before his grandson Tony was born, John's movies kept his memory alive. The treasure of the Sierra Matter especially stayed important to people as its ideas about people's nature and chasing money are still meaningful today. In 1984, the treasure of the Sierra Matter got a special award at the Cannes Film Festival, showing how important it is in movie history. John Huston's ideas and hard work still inspire movie makers and audiences today, showing how storytelling in movies will always be powerful. This text was the Treasure of the Sierra Matter is a 1947 movie directed by John Huston. The film stars Humphrey Bogart as one of the main characters. Before becoming an actor, Bogart's mother worked as a newspaper reporter. It's been reported that she didn't approve of his portrayal of an Indian character in a previous role. Bogart's father was Belmont Bogart and his mother was Maud Humphrey. He had two sisters named Frances and Catherine. The movie is known for its portrayal of greed and the darker aspects of human nature. It follows three men who search for gold in the Mexican wilderness and explores how their greed affects their relationships and ultimately leads to their downfall. The Treasure of the Sierra Matter is considered a classic of American cinema known for its compelling story and memorable performances. When John Huston first started working on the project, the studio had George Raft, Edward G. Robinson, and John Garfield in mind for the three main roles. However, World War II intervened, and by the time Houston returned, Humphrey Bogart had become Warner Brothers' biggest star. Bogart immediately pursued a role in the film upon hearing about it. Producer Walter Mirisch criticized Houston's handling of the post-production period, particularly after shooting another film. The initial preview of Houston's version in New York was disastrous, and despite negative feedback, he refused to make changes. United Artists, the film's financier, demanded a re-edit overseen by Mirish, but it ultimately failed at the box office. Initially pleased with Walter Houston's performance, producer Henry Blank grew concerned about him overshadowing Humphrey Bogart. Studio Notes instructed John Houston to tone down his father's performance during filming. Paul Thomas Anderson, a well-known filmmaker, considers the treasure of the Sierra Matter as his favorite movie. Before he became famous in the film industry, he worked as a gym teacher in a California high school during the late 1960s. The movie was mainly filmed in Mexico. However, Jack L. Warner, who was in charge of Warner Brothers Studio, decided to move the production back to Hollywood when the cost went over $3 million. Despite this, Warner praised the film as one of the best ever made. Directed by John Huston, The Treasure of the Sierra Matter is a classic that has left a lasting impression on audiences and filmmakers. Its story about greed, betrayal, and moral decline still resonates with viewers today, showing how timeless its themes and characters are. Thank you.